Hello and welcome to Easy Maths. In this lesson, we are going to focus attention on some mixed concepts of or about thirds. This again is going to be the very last lesson on a series of lessons on the topic of thirds. So now let's turn to the mixed concepts that I have in mind that I want us to have a look at. I have before us some four questions that I want us to attempt. And the first one, we told simplify the following, leaving your answer in third form. We told 1 all over root 17 minus 2 root 5 minus 1 all over root 17 plus 2 root 5. Now, please notice in this case that root 17 minus 2 root 5 and root 17 plus 2 root 5 are conjugates of one another. It's a good observation you should make there. The next thing is that if this was a, 1 over a minus 1 over b, we would need us. Um, an LCM for the denominators so that we combine the two fractions and therefore in our case the LCM would be root 17 minus 2 root 5 that one is a bracket multiplied by root 17 plus 2 root 5 and therefore if that's the LCM we would have root 17 plus 2 root 5 times root 17 plus 2 root 5 that is this LCM here divided by the first denominator should give us a second denominator which we have over here the same LCM divided by the second denominator should give us the first denominator which we have here simplifying this the numerator in the numerator we are going to have 17 minus 17 at some point so the root 17 will go away but the root 2 root 5 is positive here and we're going to have 2 root 5 being positive again because of the double negative here so that's going to be 4 root 5 the denominator will be root 17 squared minus 2 root 5 squared which is 17 minus 20 and therefore the answer will simply be 4 root 5 over negative 3 but bringing the negative over the division line will be minus 4 root 5 over 3 and that's the answer there another question we're told express SSR the area of an equilateral triangle whose size is 5 centimeter we know that if this is an equilateral triangle all sides are equal in our case they are equal to 5 we have this side is 5, this other side is 5, this, all of it is 5, but half of it will be 5 over 2. So 5 over 2 plus 5 over 2 will be another 5. And we have a perpendicular height represented by letter H, that one there. Now using Pythagoras theorem, we can say that H squared plus 5 all over 2 squared should be equal to 5 squared, which is what we have here. And simplifying for H, we would have H is root 75 all over 2. That therefore tells us that the area would be half base times perpendicular height, which is half times the base, which is 5, times perpendicular height, which is root 75 all over 2, and that gives us 5 root 75 all over 4. Remember, root 75 can be simplified further by, uh, find, by having the, the root 75 equal to 20, root 25 times 3, which is Again, 5 root 3, and 5 is multiplied by this 5 to give us 25. So we have the answer is 25 root 3, all over 4 centimeters square. And that's the answer for that second question there. Moving on to that question, we have root 5. Given root 5 is 2.236 and root 7 is 2.646, evaluate this expression here. Let me say, root 20 is the same as uh, 2 root 5. Okay? And therefore, the expression we were given this expression here given here we need to multiply with a fraction whose numerator and denominator are simultaneously equal to the denominator of the expression we were given 2 root 5 and therefore we get this sort of an expression 3 times 2 root 5 will be 6 root 5 S root 7 times 2 root 5 will be 2 times root 7 times f root 5 the numerator will be will be 20 now, since we are given the, the value of root 5 and the root value of root 7, we just put the values in the numerators here and go on to simplify using your calculator or so, we get 1.2624. And that is the answer for that third question there. Moving on to the last question you're given, that A is root 5 and B is root 7, so simplify the expression we are given there. Now, the student should understand that root 20 can be simplified further root 112 can also be simplified and root 28 can also be simplified and therefore those three simplified would be 2 root 5 4 root 7 and 2 root 7 respectively and 
Since we're given a is root 5 and b is root 7, we can put the values of a and b in the numerator and denominator respectively. Now, the expression therefore should look like 2a plus 4b all over a plus 2b and you should notice that for the numerator something can be simplified by factorizing out the 2 so we'd have 2 in brackets a plus 2b and the numer the denominator will be a plus 2b we have something similar for numerator and denominator we can be cancelled out and so we have the answer simplifying to 2 and that brings me to the end of this particular lesson and also the end of a series of a series of lessons on uh, the topic of SADS. Uh, please check out for more videos coming up in the next topic after SADS. And as always, please like, share, subscribe. I'll always appreciate. Thank you.